Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this cute little pom-pom border. It's pretty easy to make and it's turned out super cute. I love it and I'm gonna show you step by step. And here is the cluster look. This is the right side of the work and this is the wrong side of the work. It's just a little bit different, not that much. And I will explain what is different, okay? So for this border, we're gonna crochet on the wrong side of the work because the wrong side of the work is have a little hole open when we create the pom-pom border here. Hope you can see. Not that much, just a little bit. This is the wrong side, okay? And here is the right side. It also have a little hole as well, but it's not that much. Like smaller than the wrong side. <laughs> That's why we crochet on the wrong side of the work because we want to hide that hole on the wrong side. So I'm going to show you on this side and don't worry, I'm going to show you on the lighter yarn as well. This one may be a little difficult to see. Anyways, use any hook and any yarn you prefer. I use 4mm crochet hook and then number 4 medium weight yarn. And like I said, we're gonna crochet on the wrong side. So right now, this is the right side. I just gonna flip my work. So this is the wrong side facing up and we're gonna start crochet the pom-pom border. I'm gonna insert my hook into this corner and then I'm just gonna add a new yarn right there. And I'm just gonna make a single crochet into the same stitch. And now, I'm gonna chain three. This chain will be the length right here. The length before we make the pom-pom here. Okay, so I make chain three here. And if you want longer than that, feel free to add more chains. So I'm gonna make three chains. One, two, three. And now I have the length before I make the pom-pom. And to start make the pom-pom, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. So basically, I just chain six, but the first three chain will be the length of the pom-pom border. So next, I'm going to make a cluster stitch into the third chain from the hook. So here's the first chain, here's the second chain, and here is the third chain. And to make the cluster, we yarn over hook and then insert the hook into that third chain from the hook. Insert the hook there, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and we're gonna do that into the same chain stitch three times. This is the first time, okay? So I yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same chain stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through the first two loops. And then one more time. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same chain stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, five loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through the first two loops. And now I have four loops on the hook. I'm gonna yarn over hook and then pull through all the loops on the hook. And now I'm gonna explain a little bit before I do that. If you want bigger pom-pom here, you're gonna make more than three times. So you're gonna yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull through two loops like that more, more than three times. For me, I'm very happy with three times. All right. So yeah, I have th four loops on the hook left. I yarn over hook and pull through all the loops on the hook and then chain one to stick here. It doesn't count as chain. Okay. Now I have the first cluster stitch is going to be half of the pom pom. And now I'm going to chain two, one and two. And then I'm going to make a cluster stitch into the top of the first cluster that we did right here. Okay. So 
So I yarn over hook, insert the hook into the top of the first cluster that we did, yarn over purple loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and we're gonna do that three times. And now, if your first cluster, you do that four times, the second one, you have to do that four times because you wanna make uh, the pom-pom nice and even. Okay, so I do three times. This is the first time. So I yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, this is the second time. And then yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same chain, into the same stitch, sorry. Yarn over, pull up a loop, five loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. And now, this is the third time, and I have four loops on my hook. I yarn over hook, and then pull through all the loops on the hook. And then I'm gonna chain one to secure. And for the chain one right here, I make kinda tight, okay? And now, I'm gonna fold the cluster together, to form the pom-pom, like that. And some people like to fold on the back, but for me, personally, I like on the front because it's kind of like create the shape um, curl to the back like that. So I want to fold to the front like that. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Anyways, I'm going to make a slip stitch into the same chain that I make the first cluster, but this time I'm not gonna go just one leg, I'm gonna go into both legs here to create the whole smaller. So this is the same chain, right? But I go in the same chain, but two, two legs, two loops, insert the hook there. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop, and pull it through to make a slip stitch. Make it tight. All right, and then after that, I gonna chain three. One, two, three. So this chain is gonna be the same chain count when you start. Remember, I start with three chain. That gonna be the length for my pom-pom border. So I have to chain three right here as well. So if you start with chain six or seven right here, you're gonna make the same chain count. So after I chain three, I'm gonna skip four stitches. Here's one, two, three, four. And then into the next stitch, I'm gonna make a single crochet. Some people prefer to make a slip stitch right here. It's totally up to you. So I like to make a single crochet. And now I'm done with my first pom-pom border. So this is the wrong side of the work, and here is the right side of the work. It's not that much different, just a little bit. So yeah, I just gonna keep repeating this. I gonna show you a couple more times, don't worry. So again, I gonna chain three to start my length. So here's one, two, and three. This is gonna be the length of my pom-pom border. And next, to start the cluster, I'm gonna make three chains. One, two, three. So basically, I just make six chains, all right? And then now, I'm gonna make a cluster stitch into the third chain from the hook here. So here's the first chain, second chain, and here is the third chain. So for the cluster stitch, I yarn over hook, insert the hook into that third chain from the hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two loops. I'm gonna do that three times. This is the first time. So yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same chain stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. This is the second time. And yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same chain stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. This is the third time and I have four loops on my hook yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and then chain one to secure and then now chain two one and two and then i'm gonna make a cluster stitch on top of the first cluster that i did right here so yarn over hook insert the hook into the top stitch of the first cluster yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops do that three times. This is the first time. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. 
Yarn over, pull through two loops. This is the second time. Yarn over, insert the hook into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. This is the third time and I have four loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and then chain one to six here. And then I'm gonna fold my uh, cluster in half to create the pom-pom border. Okay, and now I'm gonna slip stitch into the same chain that I make the first cluster. And again, this time I try to go into both loops, like two legs right here. To make this hole not get any bigger. <laughs> so yeah, right here. Insert the hook there. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull it through. And then make it tight, and kind of adjust the pom-pom a little bit. Looks good. Alright, and then now I'm going to chain three. So one, two, and three. And then I'm going to skip four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then into the next stitch, I'm going to make a single crochet. So for this part, if you want to skip less stitches or more stitches, totally up to you. So this is how I do it. So yeah, I'm just going to keep repeating that across. Very easy. I show you one more time. So I chain three for my length and then I chain another three for my first cluster. Basically it's chain six and then I'm going to make a cluster stitch into the third chain right here. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Do that three times. This is the first time. This is my second time. This is my third time and I have four loops on my hook. Yarn over and put through all the loops on the hook and chain one to secure. And then chain two. And then make cluster stitch on top of the first cluster. So yarn over hook, insert the hook into the top stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. I'm gonna do that three times. This is my first time. This is my second time. And here's the third time. And I have four loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and chain one to here. And when I chain one right here, I like to tie a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna fold my cluster in half to form the pom-pom. And then I'm gonna make a slip stitch into the same chain that I made the first cluster. Again, I try to go into two loops this time to make the hole not get any bigger. <laughs> so I insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull it through to make a slip stitch. And now I'm gonna chain three. And then I skip four stitches. One, two, three, four. Into the next stitch, I'm gonna make a single crochet. Like that, very easy. Cute, I love it. You just need to adjust a little bit to make it nice and even. And yeah. Just repeating this across. And this is the wrong side. This is the right side of the wood, okay? It's not that much different, <laughs> just a little bit. And you can crochet on the wrong side or on the right side, totally up to you. Whatever you like your project to be. All right, that's it. I think it's very easy to make and very cute as well. I hope you enjoy watching this video and I hope you learned something new here. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.